Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin. We're focused right now on whole number computation, and we're going to think about how to do subtraction using an adding up model. So here is our problem. We're going to think about subtracting 714 minus 386. Now when we think about subtraction, we can think about subtraction as taking away. So I could think about taking away that 386 from 714. I can also think about subtraction as comparison between two amounts. And this works really well when we're thinking about subtraction on a number line. So I can start at 714 and count back to 386. I can also start at 386 and count forward to 714. And that's what we're going to do right now because sometimes students, especially students that might have some learning difficulties in mathematics, it's much easier for them to count forward than to count backward. So let me show you how this strategy works. So we are going to start with 386. And I'm going to figure out how to count forward or count up to 714. And I'm going to use just friendly numbers to me. So you and your students may do this in a, a little bit of a different way. So when I think of 386, if I add 4 to 386, I'm now at 390. Um, if I add 10, then now I'm at 400. Remember, I'm trying to get to 714. Uh, let's see, 400 plus 300 gets us to 700. And I might just bite it off uh, all right now. Let's see, 700 plus 14 is 714. So I started with 386 and I counted up to 714. Now I'm going to add these numbers over here together to figure out what is the difference between 386 and 714. So let's see, 4 plus 10 is 14, plus 300 is 314, plus another 14 is 328. So the difference between 700 and 300, 714 and 386 is 328. So we used a counting up strategy to help us solve this subtraction problem, and that's okay because subtraction can be thought of as the difference between two numbers. Thank you so much for tuning into this Stair Tailored.